Hello everyone, welcome. Tonight we are joined by the brilliant, famous director, Leroy Kaminsky. Thank you for having me. Your latest film, titled The Attack of the Inebriated Monkeys, did not actually have any monkeys whatsoever in the film. Please explain why. Yes, the title is purely metaphorical. The inebriated monkeys could be interpreted as the many problems that the main protagonist faces throughout the <coughs> picture. We got such a remarkable performance from, uh, from, uh, the main actor whose name is slipping my mind at the moment. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of your main actor, he was hospitalized performing a stunt on the last shot of the film. Can you please explain what happened there? In the final shot of the film, as you know, his house blows up with him inside the house. I wanted to keep it as practical as possible, so the explosion was real. It was totally worth it, in my opinion. The results really speak for themselves. And this would not be the only casualty on set of the film. We found a cameraman on set with 31 stab wounds. Do you have anything to say on that? Cameraman! I think that was you who murdered him. Do not be ridiculous. The media blew that story way out of proportion. Why did you do it, Leroy? We know you did. You have no evidence. We have enough evidence. The fingerprints, the eyewitness account. Can we just talk about how it took me 15 years to write the script? Leroy, this is not one of those interviews. This is an interrogation. <laughs> Leroy, we have evidence ranging from animal abuse to money laundering. You're going to prison. No, 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 no. That would not work for me. I have to make a sequel once my lead actor has fully recovered in the hospital. Your lead actor? His name was Smith. He died two hours ago in the hospital. Died? Well then, I, I'm gonna need to rewrite the script. Officer, someone is here to see you. Now. Hello, officer. You must be familiar with my work. I'm, I'm not. Well, I, I'm movie producer Frederick White. Surely that name rings a bell. It does not. Well, uh, anyways. My studio is willing to offer a large sum of money if you're uh, able to forget about this whole misapprehension with Leroy and let him go free. You know, no one told me it was a felony to bribe an officer. Your technique is far too rudimentary to be convincing. Uh, my wife is gonna kill me when she finds out about this. You married Franklin. Why was I not invited to the wedding? It was eight years ago. You ever got married? I used to be. My wife uh, divorced me after I drowned a guy she was seeing. 